All right, Disneyland, day number two. So I had an extra cop pass. It is, it is already 7.24 p.m. I just got in. Why did I not save it for Disneyland, Disney World? Go to Disneyland because I don't know when I'll ever get back to Disneyland. It would be nice to use it for Disney World, but I'll get back to Disney World. I, I live practically down the street from it. This is a bit farther, so I figured use it while I have the chance, right? And also I wanted to show you Cars, well one of the things I wanted to show you guys, Cars Land, with the sun still up because it was hard to see. And I just bought Max Pass without checking the Fast Pass availability and uh, that was not smart, don't do that. Because everything I was going to use it for is full for the day. Even though Disneyland, I think, closes at 12. Like 12 a.m. But there are some fast passes available still, but nothing I'm interested in. Hmm. Oh well. And it's 80 minutes for Radiator Springs. But I'm going to go on it anyway. California, California. I hate how fake Hollywood is. Comment below if you know what movie that's from. At least the movie I was thinking of. Here's a better look at the Cone Zone. It's actually called the Cozy Cone Motel, but... And there's Mission Trash... <laughs> there's Mission Trashy looking... This Mission Breakout, which looks so trashy. Looks like a uh, three-year-old designed it. Seriously, that's pathetic. Some theming in here. Old school. The Horn of Plenty. Get it? It's a horn. I did not even see this when I was here a few days ago, but then again, it had a lot to see, so. Whoops. This is, um, interesting. This place is pretty cool. Looks like it's maybe based on San Francisco? Pacific Wharf. Hmm, I wonder what other part of a theme park is based on San Francisco. So this is the bakery tour, sourdough. Hmm, what's more important? What's more valuable? Dough or gold? Get it? Because, yeah. Question, why is it called Mother Dough? Because she is a source of each loaf. Hope you can read it. Yep, that's it. That's the whole tour. And I guess that would be the gift shop. More San Francisco theming. Hey, let's go see if we can find Richter's Burger. Back to Pixar Pier. And everyone's gonna stop in front of me. Cool.
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Still not going on this ride, by the way. I planned on throwing a jacket into my bag when I was packing. Yeah, I forgot. It's already down to 74, deg 74 degrees and the sun is still setting. Summer, huh? These are interesting. The tops move back and re reveal these giant lights. Called, I believe they're called synchro lights. These were also used in the previous cinematic uh, show, the cinematic uh, spectacular at Universal, and they were supposed to be used for the grand opening of Volcano Bay, but it got rained out. Imagine that in Florida. Well, sadly, the sun is rapidly setting, or has already set, and it is getting dark, but I'm gonna go on this anyway. And yet, heck yes, I'm going on the non-swinging ones. Sorry. Uh, it wouldn't even be a steady shot anyway, so. Excuse the cage. The cage is here for your safety. But, uh... a closer look at that synchro light. There we go. Now if I was up here earlier, I would use my GoPro and try to stick the lens in between here. But uh, here we are. Actually, this is... Um, a lot more intense than the Orlando Eye, which is, I mean, well, what was called the Orlando Eye, then it was uh, just the eye, then it's the wheel, because, I don't know, something about it not being behind glass is probably not as tall as the eye. Hmm, didn't predict, didn't see that one coming. You guys probably did. Hey, stop that. Uh, now you guys, through the, you know, through the metal, can really see Cars Land. Wow, this, that is really cool. I'm gonna see if I, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to wait in that 80 minute line to go on that attraction again. There, you use auto uh, manual focus, that, that's a little better. There's the Anaheim Convention Center, where I've obviously just was for VidCon! VidCon 2019! I don't know. Well, since I'm here, I'm gonna ride Alice in Wonderbread. I mean, Wonder Wonderland. These wait times are amazing. Now you guys might remember that sometimes I go to Moonlight Magic at Walt Disney World. These weights are about the same or even less. And it's just a regular night in July. So I would expect the wait times to be really high. But I mean, this is really pretty close. It's not really a walk on, but it's pretty close. Next up, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And we're already on the ride. This is amazing. And that was a ride. <laughs> this is good. Whoa! Oh. It's warm in here, right? I want to stay in here for a while. Can I stay in here for like the next hour? 
Oh, it's nice and humid too. I like this. That is the second trip to Disneyland and the final one for, I don't know, it might be a very, very long time. I may never get back here. Who knows? But it is 12.07 a.m. and I have to go back to the hotel room and pack and, <laughs> uh, what's that thing called? Sleep, I have to sleep. Um, tomorrow, not, well today, Knott's Berry Farm and um, I fly back home. But I have several days off when I get home because I have a ridiculous amount of editing to do that I was hoping to get to some of it while I'm here. I was kind of figuring I wasn't, but I was gonna try to, didn't work. Thanks for watching this video all the way through and please exit the gift shop. Coast time.